we're going to do is reassemble in here. Now, we're doing all the stuff you find in a rebuild kit. And you may notice there's still a few hard pieces in here. Um, behind that plate, you saw your transfer gears. There is a bearing in here behind these two guys. And well, if, if I had some grinding noise or metal, I'd probably go in there and clean that out. We're not going to go that deep into this first transmission because we're just playing with clutches and seals and bands. Now, in order to get this back together, the first thing you have to do is put this in. Hopefully everybody's catching it because if you put your overrunning clutch in first, this will not fit and you're going to have to pull that clutch back out to put this in. And these are also, on most of these transmissions, I think there's only two exceptions on my benches, directional, which means it's not just this way or that way, there is a direction. This one's got a flat rolled surface that sits up against the pin, and the other side has a tooth in it. And that's the one that has that little strut. Where my plate go? A guy similar to this, it goes against that pin and goes in here to my servo. Um, also reminds me, before I forget, you gotta do that servo first. I think I'm thinking about it now. Once this goes in, it actually holds this little lever over, and sometimes that makes it harder to get the servo in. You know what? I think without the band, we'll be okay. We're going to try it without. Get this guy in first. So he's going to sit in here. I can pinch it together. Slide that in. Okay, now we can put the one-way clutch in. A one-way clutch cannot simply be shoved back into place because the springs have moved these little bearings back down into place. And now their overall diameter is smaller than this. What we have to do is when we set that one-way clutch in there, we go as straight as possible, and we start to rotate a little bit clockwise. And you'll feel the bearings start to pop in. If you hear something make a clink sound, it falls out, you gotta pull it out, get your bearing and your, your spring back into place, and take a few shots at it. This is one of these weird parts where there's just a very specific way where it has to land. You may have to try this six times tonight, or you might just have it slide right in, look around, and go, what's everyone doing? Why does it take so long? Well, I can guarantee you, if it slides in in one shot and you take it back out, it'll probably take you six tries to go back in. It's just one of those parts where it either falls in lucky or it doesn't. So, here's the uh, advice I'm going to give you with this also. You'll notice that they're kind of gelled up with this, this uh, transmission assembly lube. Um, that's what holds them into place. If yours is running a little bit dry on that stuff and gets you some more assembly loop, you'll also notice that I've got this, this little friction thrust washer, which you may or may not have pulled out of the back of it. If it's still in the bottom of your transmission, take it off and put it back on. And what it does for me is it keeps the pieces from falling out quite so easily. Um, and with a little bit of assembly gel on it, same thing, it's going to hold everything into place. Okay, so I'm looking to make sure that all of my bearings and springs are in correctly, and I'll come around and check the your guys' too while we do this. And I'm going to take a quick shot of putting this in. Let's see if I can get lucky on this first shot. Get any of that gel off the edge. There is, again, a little bit of a taper that's going to help you out, but it's small, so we've got to be as straight as we can on this thing. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to just grab it with my fingers here, slide it in. As this thing goes in there, I'm going to try and straighten it out as much as I can. And once I have it in place, I'm going to start rotating clockwise. I band up out of the way. There we go. Let's see if I can get this in one shot. Maybe today, maybe. Make it look like I know what I'm doing, maybe. In the end, it won't work. What I got to do is come back out. Right in here, I have a bearing that went 90 degrees on me. Even though I was trying to go careful with it, it flipped. So I'm going to rotate that back into position. I'm going to try one more time. Bearing back in. My assembly gel, I just don't have enough in there. I'm going to try one more shot. There we go. There we go. I got it. 
Two shots. I don't have to be up here doing eight shots where everyone goes, this guy didn't know he's doing it. built the transmission in life. Here we go. So, you'll see I had to take my time, and part of what I was doing, I know you can't see into the transmission, but as I set it on there, I was watching bearings, and I was watching springs, and if any of the springs were sticking out a little bit, just pushing them in a little bit, rotate a little bit clockwise, and if the bearings started trying to flip 90 degrees on me, same thing over and over again. If everything goes the way it should be, you won't hear that clink sound of a barrier or spring, and I'll be able to come in here, and what I'm going to do once you have it in is try and turn it one way, and try and turn it the other, and you can see this goes one way and not the other. That way, I know I have this thing correctly assembled, so I'm good with this. So um, instead of loading you up with the next steps, let's focus on just getting your overrunning clutch and your band in.